big difference. Hey everybody, welcome back to Garage Gear, I'm JB. If you own a third generation access cab Tacoma like I do, then this video is for you. We're about to install door speakers in the access cab doors. Stick around. Now, if you have been following along with our sound system upgrade here in the Tacoma, you saw in the first video that I installed kicker tweeters in the dash. In the second video, I installed six by nine speakers in the driver's side and passenger side doors. Now we're ready to do the access cab doors. I love my access cab. I have plenty of space in here. I have drop down seats in the back and these are the speakers that we're gonna be tackling today. Double cab people can't do this between the doors. Plus with an access cab, you get the longer bed. And by going with a double cab, I would actually get a shorter bed. And if I wanted to get the longer bed, I would have to get a much longer truck. Now, when I was researching how to install speakers in the access cab doors, I couldn't find any videos on YouTube as to how to do this. So I hope some people out there find this video helpful. So now let's talk about all the tools and items that we're gonna need to get this job done. We have our Kicker DS six and a half inch speakers here. These are awesome. These have great reviews and our plug and play so they'll be easy to install. We have our mounting brackets. I have some duct tape which we may need to hold our wiring harness down, we'll see. And speaking of wiring harness, here you go. These make installation of these speakers very easy. This way we don't have to solder anything, it just goes much quicker. You will need a 10 millimeter socket. You will need an index card and that index card is going to be for these pry tools so that way we can pull the panels off without scratching anything. We're also going to need either a ratchet or an impact driver, either one will work fine. I have a Phillips head bit on the end of my impact driver. I also have a Phillips screwdriver and I also have a T25 Torx bit. You will need one of these. This is a definite. You will need this in order to get the panel off the door. I also have a very small flathead screwdriver. This will be helpful for getting the door handle off. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have our access cab door here. We have our speaker in the middle. We need to remove this panel so we can get at this bad boy. For our first step at the top of the door, you're going to see one of these little press pins. What I'm going to do is take my Phillips head screwdriver screwdriver and I'm gonna push that down. I'm then gonna take my panel removal tool. I'm gonna wedge it underneath so I can pull my tab out. Just like that, set it off to the side. Then inside the handle of the door, you will see a Torx screw. What we're gonna use is our T25 Torx bit. We're gonna stick that down inside and we're gonna loosen that bad boy up. There you go, set that screw aside. Then over here behind our seatbelt, you're gonna see our door handle. What I'm gonna do is take this screwdriver here and my index card, and I'm gonna wedge this in here. I'm gonna carefully remove this. I don't wanna lose this little tab. There we go. And you will see another T25 Torx screw right below it. We're gonna take our screwdriver with our T25 Torx bit. We're gonna remove that and out it comes and then take out your door handle bracket. Now I moved down here to the bottom part of the seat belt and what you have to do is you have to pull off this cap that's covering this bolt here at the bottom. It should just pop right off by hand. You shouldn't really need any tools. There is kind of a piece on the back side that prevents you from pulling it from the bottom. So you wanna pull it here from the top corners. Loosen it up and it should come right off. There you go, she's off. You see what I mean? There's that little lip here at the bottom. So you don't wanna pull it from the bottom. You wanna pull it from the sides at the top. We have a 14 millimeter bolt here holding on our seat belt. And this is the only one we have to remove from the seat belt. This is not hard, but this bolt is on there pretty good. So what I'm actually gonna use is my trusty breaker bar. Okay, this thing's on there pretty good. So we're gonna need a little bit more extra force to pull it off. So I'm gonna get it on there. I'm gonna twist. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna take my 14 millimeter bolt, stick it on my impact driver and out it comes. You can just let this seatbelt hang. That is fine. There's your bolt, set that aside. So now there are about 10 different snaps all along these edges that we have to free up. So we're gonna carefully pull this off of the vehicle. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful when you're removing these because there are lots of little red clips that kind of look like this. You don't want to destroy them, so pull carefully as best you can. You may ruin a few in the process. Just try to be very, very careful. Here is our speaker. Again, it's just another paper speaker by Toyota. So what we're gonna do is take this cord here and remove it. There's a little tab up in the top corner. Push it down and pull it out. There it goes. Now I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter socket on the end of my impact driver and remove the bolts. 
and out comes your speaker. That is small. Holy smokes. That is a very tiny magnet behind that speaker. This speaker came out of the access cab door this way. This was in the top corner there. Take a look at the magnet once again. Very, very small. I'm going to leave this upside down. And then take a look at our new speaker here. This is again by Kicker. These are awesome. And look at the size difference in the magnets behind them. That's crazy. This thing's going to crank out such beautiful sound. I can't wait to hear it. So now what we're going to do is install the bracket on the back side of these speakers. By the way, these speakers weigh considerably more than the stock speakers. This hole on the bracket needs to be facing that top corner, same as it was on this one here. So we're going to face this in the top corner, and then we're just going to mount over the top like so. So now I'm going to take my bracket. I'm going to put my hole in the top left corner, and I'm going to take my speaker and mount it inside. And you're going to see I got all these little holes around the outside, and I'm going to just line them right up. And these actually line up pretty good. They're not too far off. I'm going to take my screws here. I'm just going to kind of loosely put them in place. I am going to install four screws. There is a nice channel on the back of these brackets for these screws to go into so they do not affect your speaker. Now I'm going to carefully drill in these screws. I'm actually going to go across diagonally. now that speaker is in. If we take a look, see this is where those screws go into. So they got a nice little channel. So they're not even affecting your speaker at all. Now I'm going to take my wiring harness and I'm going to feed it through this hole at the top. I'm going to take my bracket here because I don't want this resting on the table like this. And then you'll notice we have a big plug and a little plug. They're close in color, but this one's a little bit more red than the other. There's a red tab down here that's wide. That's where the big plug is gonna connect to. So we're gonna connect that one first, carefully push it on. There we go, that guy's on there. And then we're gonna take our small plug and put it on the small tab. There we go, she's on. That is all wired up. I'm gonna remove my faceplate. I won't need those. And then I have plenty of slack on my cord. Okay, so I'm gonna now line up my speaker and where it has to go. It looks like one of the holes will be a little offset, just a little bit. So we may have to drill out a bigger gap here. We will see. I'm now going to install this with some screws, just kind of loosely get them in there. Now I'm gonna take my impact driver and drive in the screws. Loosely put that one in because this one's going to be off a little bit. Let's see how she goes in. Okay, that's in. That speaker is now mounted. I'm going to take my cord here. I'm going to line up my plugs. Click them in. There we go. There was kind of a double click with that one. And at this point, it would be a good idea to give it a quick test. So now this speaker works perfectly. I just tested it. What I'm going to do now is take some duct tape and just tape up this wire like so, because I do not want this vibrating back and forth. There is plenty of space behind that speaker cover right here on that panel. I just don't want this bouncing all around and vibrating against the metal and annoying me while I'm driving. Okay, so now what we have to do is reverse our steps. We have to put our panel back on, make sure it's all tightened up. Let's get going. I'm going to feed my seat belt through the housing. That's important. Make sure you get the actual buckle itself too. Little tip, take out this little cup here that's in your door handle. It'll make installing this much easier. Okay, so that took a couple minutes to get that back on. That is kind of tricky. There are about 10 different plugs that have to go into their correct holes on the backside, which you can't see. I'm now gonna take my cup here that sits in the door handle, and that has two little prongs on the bottom, so you have to make sure you line those up as well. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my T25 Torx bit and my screw and put that back in. Then I'm going to take my handle bracket right here. And I'm going to mount that right where that needs to go. Again, T25 Torx bit. Screw it down. Make it snug. Make sure your door handle works. Close your little tab. And then we're going to pull our seatbelt back down. And then I'm going to take a ratchet and I just want to hand tighten it down. That's good. And then we have one little tab to put back. So what I'm going to do is take this tab. I'm going to push it up. I'm going to stick it back in. And then I'm just going to push it down. We have our little seatbelt bolt cover. Again, there's a little piece on the bottom here that you have to kind of slip up and then lock down from the top. So we're going to slip it up and then press it on from the top. There we go. Now we got it. 
That ain't going anywhere. Good. This door is now done. On to the next one. So now here we are on the other door panel. I'm gonna pop off my top plug. I'm gonna stick my screwdriver right underneath. Those come out really, really easy. And again, I'm gonna take my tab. I'm gonna push it up just like that for later. Down inside, I have my Torx screw. We're gonna remove that. Another screw out. Then over here behind my seat belt, I'm gonna take my index card. I'm gonna pop my cover off. I reveal another Torx bit screw. Take that out and set that aside. Then from here, I'm going to remove my panel. And then I'm going to remove my seat belt panel down here at the bottom. Remember, remove it from the top corners and off it comes. I'm now going to take my breaker bar. I'm going to loosen up my seat belt bolt. There we go. That's loose. I'm now going to take my impact driver and remove the bolt at the bottom. Bolts out. And now we have to carefully take our time and remove this panel out without breaking any tabs. Panels off. I'm gonna set that aside. That one actually came off a little bit better. Still a fight to get it off. Then from here, we have our speaker, we have our tab in the corner, press it in and then pull it up. Out it comes. We're gonna use our impact driver with a 10 millimeter socket and remove those. And out comes our speaker. So now this speaker was in, in basically the opposite direction of the previous speaker. This white plug is now in the top right, whereas the other one was in the top left. What we have to do now is take our bracket and we have to line this hole up to the top right. So I'm gonna take my speaker, put it in. I'm gonna find our matching holes here. This way our hole is in the top right. I'm going to take now my four screws and put those into the holes. I'm going to use my Phillips bit and drop driver here to send these screws in. And you want to do this carefully because you don't want to take this and go too fast and then spike your new speaker. That would be bad. So you want to take your time with this. And again, I'm going to kind of go diagonally across to the other screw. Now I have my hole here in the top. I'm gonna to flip my speaker over and they gave you these brackets. Again, I'm just gonna kind of use this to cover this because I don't want this scratching on my workbench. I'm gonna feed my cords through down to the bottom. Little tab goes to little tab, big tab to big tab. There we go, all wired up. There we go, we can take this faceplate off. That is all ready to go. Okay, so here we go, our speaker is going in. I'm going to mount it with some screws just by hand first. And they don't perfectly line up, these new brackets. You're gonna have to just kinda drive it in with your drill or driver and it will find its way. We're gonna take our plug. Snap it in. Again, what I'm gonna do here is take some duct tape, and this is some Gorilla Tape. I'm just gonna kinda pull this cord a little closer to the wall. There is plenty of room in this region here behind the panel, but I don't want this thing rattling against the panel and making noise while I'm driving. And again, now it is time to seal this bad boy up, so what I'm gonna do is feed my seat belt through the slot, and we're gonna remount this whole panel. Okay, so now this door panel is back on. Make sure you press it kind of all over to make sure it's in place. Make sure you test your seat belt, make sure this is outside of the wall, that way it's not behind it or trapped back there. Make sure your door handle works and springs back. Now I'm going to take my cup or my handle bowl. It's got these two little prongs, make sure you line those up. There you go, it should slide right in. Take your torque screw, put it on, get it back in, screw it down. Take your door handle, get that in place. Make sure that locks in, test your handle, make sure that's still working. Get your Torx bit and your screw, get the cap out of the way. In she goes, press this little cap closed. Take your little plastic tab, come up here, push it in, push it down, it's locked. Then from here, take your 14 millimeter bolt, pull that down, line it up, start the threads. I'm going to take my ratchet and tighten it down. Yep, she's good. Take your little plastic cover. Again, it's got this little lip here. We're gonna hook it underneath and then pinch it from the sides up at the top. And there you go, she's on. Okay folks, so now our installation of our access cab speakers is fully complete. And even better, all the speakers in this Tacoma are now changed over to the kickers. I actually finished the installation of the access cab speakers at about 11.30 last night, and I didn't want to make the neighbors mad by cranking beats in the driveway late, late at night. So here we are the next day, it's time to crank some beats in here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to play the first video of how the 
whole truck sounded with the original speakers back before I put in the tweeters. You're gonna see how it sounds with all the new speakers, the tweeters, the door speakers, and the access cab speakers. Is I'm going to play a song that is YouTube approved, and my hope is that your phone speakers and maybe your desktop speakers can kind of show the improvement at the end when this is all done. Oh yeah. Big difference. That's nice. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, there you go. I can hear every tap on the drum. I can hear the bass kick quite a bit harder in here now. I can hear every strum of the guitar strings. That's awesome. These kickers are doing an excellent, excellent job. I'm a fan. That was an easy, easy install. I definitely recommend this to anybody, ladies and gentlemen. No, this was not a sponsored video. This was all done on my own. I purchased these with my own money. This was a fantastic upgrade for the Tacoma. So if you found this video helpful and you like what you saw today, give me one of these. If you have any questions or comments about how the whole installation went, drop me a comment down below. You can find all the products and the tools that I used down in the description as well. Thanks for tuning into Garage Gear, and I'll see you in the garage.